What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out Black Hole Size Comparison 2019. But before we get into that, I have a few announcements. I would like to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. We hit 100 subscribers I think yesterday, which is insane. I mean, I started this second channel, the reaction channel, like at the end of July and I started uploading consistently towards the end of August and you know, we're only in October to have 100 subscribers. I didn't expect that. So thank you to everybody who subscribed and comments and requests videos. I mean, there's a lot of guys who frequent videos and comment on a lot of them. So thank you to everybody. Also, I want to start doing gaming on the channel. Um, I'm not sure what to do yet, but we'll see. There's a few games I want to play, but if anyone has any suggestions, stick them in the comments. And one last thing. So yeah, Halloween is coming up and I want to do something special for it. I'm not entirely 100% sure what I want to do. I was thinking potentially a live stream where me and my brother will play some scary games. You know, we might play Outlast and stuff like that. If you're interested in that, be sure to let me know. Or I'll do like a, a few days or potentially a whole week of like scary content, I guess. We'll do like uh, certain videos that like top 10 scary discs, whatever. We'll do like some scary stories. If that's what you guys want to see, let me know which one you'd prefer. Um, and yeah, man, let me know. Let me know those two things, what you prefer about the gaming and about the Halloween special video. And yeah. We're going to get in to this reaction, which is Black Hole Size Comparison 2019, man. We've checked out some videos from Harry Everett before and they've been good. So, yeah, we're going to see how big black holes are. I was kind of baffled at how big they were in the, um, oh, what was it, the size of the universe, whatever it was. They're just massive. But, yeah, we're going to get into this, man. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. You know the, the drill by this point. And, yeah, let's get into this video. So, oh, shit, I didn't realize we started. Radius 10.8 kilometers. That's not that big. Stellar black holes form when massive stars undergo gravitational collapse. I missed that. Look at the names. The names just confuse me. Five solar masses, uh, 15 kilometers. All right, so these are pretty small. 26.6 kilometers. I just want to confirm what exactly is a solar mass? I think it's like the weight of the sun, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is the weight of the sun, okay. I mean, these are small and they weigh nine times as much as the sun or ours. Yeah. Ten solar masses. Almost 30 kilometers. Alright, we're getting bigger. 46. 0.23 kilometers. What's the different types? Stellar mass and what's the other ones? We're gonna have like a massive jump. There you go. 1,000 1, solar masses and or almost 3,000 kilometers intermediate mass. Intermediate mass black holes may have formed in the dense early universe or from multiple stellar mass black holes merging over time along with other material okay I mean, are we going to i didn't need to pause it did i no that looks like the moon oh is that the moon oh okay so these are as big as the moon okay but they weigh a thousand times, or they have the mass a thousand times greater than the sun. Okay. This one is almost 4,000 in radius, which in diameter would be, what, six? Almost 7,000 over. All right, now we're getting massive. Or well, a lot bit. The sun for scale. Okay, so those are relatively small, of course, like, in comparison, I'm gonna turn this music down because Sagittarius A star 4.3 million solar masses, 12.7 million kilometers in radius, supermassive black hole, and the central hot black hole of the Milky Way galaxy. Okay. So massive. M32, 5 million solar masses or close enough to 15 million in radius okay m61 
Okay, now they're just getting bloody way, way bigger. This is over true or double. They're almost doubling in size every time, pretty much. Well, not quite, but close enough. If anyone knows, why are they all called M108, M82? Like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's like to do with... Oh, is it Milky Way? Alright, is there that many black... No, there isn't. It can't be. Okay, I don't know why they're called that. M58, distance from Earth to Sun. Okay, so it's as big as the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Andromeda Galaxy. Sombrero Galaxy. That is a massive one. And that's... Okay, ultra massive. Holmberg 15A. Was that? 10 billion solar masses. Jesus. Surely they can't get too much bigger than this. This is three times as dense as the last one. Nah, nah, it's just unfathomable. I, <laughs> I mean, it's been pretty big since we started this video, but still. Ton 618. The largest black hole known in the universe. Schwarzschild radius of the Milky Way. I forgot what it is. We done this in I done this in A level astrophysics. But I can't uh, I can't remember exactly what it is. Yep, that's it. Okay, so yeah, I'd like to thank the person who requested this video. Very interesting video. Obviously, there's no talking, so I have to fill the void of talking. Um, but yeah, man, that's very interesting, man. The black holes are obviously massive. We've watched videos and are pretty much the biggest thing in the universe as like a, a like a single thing. Obviously, galaxies are bigger than black holes in total, but like they're a collection of, of things. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, man. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Let me know about those things I talked about at the start of the video. And yeah, I'll see you all next time.